Hi guys, Jill Dearman, IFBB Women's Pro Physique. We're here today, Juno Beach Fitness, sunny Florida, 85 degrees in January. I'm going to do, show you my back and bicep workout. Um, we're going to do some heavy back and some nice uh, bicep workout. Enjoy. Uh, 2012, August, I got my pro card. So that was a, that was a long journey for a huge, huge prize. Um, then I did my first pro show, Sarasota. Coming into 2013, uh, today, I'm 14 weeks out from the Orlando Europa. Um, I intend to bring uh, the best package I can, which is going to be top notch as usual. Um, a lot more size for me um, and much more detailed package. Uh, I intend to compete um, quite a few shows this year. Um, my physique seems to stay um, full, no matter you know how much hard dieting I do. So I'm blessed with that, you know, that good fortune. So Orlando, and then uh, for sure uh, Toronto, the Toronto Pro. Jill, where are you in terms of weight in your off season versus what you're planning to be when you hit the stage? Uh, today, um, I said I'm 14 weeks. Today, I'm close to 17 pounds more than I, I usually weigh on stage. But uh, I hold it well. My body fat is staying super low. So I'm enjoying putting some beef on these bones. And it's gonna be an awesome look. 17 pounds, I, I don't see where you put it. You must have it in your shoe. But uh, you stay lean pretty much all year round, but this is a nice full look for you. Yeah, no, I, I love the fullness. I've actually um, put a little bit of size on my shoulders and back, and believe it or not, my quads. So it's, it's amazing where you can pack 17 pounds. I mean, obviously it's not all muscle, but um, uh, I guarantee when I get super lean for, the, for competition, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a different look than I had last year. How does it feel being a pro after a number of years of competing in figure now you're a physique pro you plan to stick with physique or is that the look that you you want to refine oh no i love um i love physique that's that's my uh that's my happy zone that's my sweet spot right there um i being a pro opposed to uh, it was such a long journey and it almost seemed like it was unattainable but you know, I just kept hitting. I just I knew that if I kept hitting the shows repetitively that year, that I was going to make it happen, and I did. It took me quite a few, but I made it happen. I think you were questioning whether you wanted to take your shoes off and do a routine. How did that work out for you? Oh man, I love the routine. Uh, that's another thing I'm going to perfect this year. As um, I'm getting a little bit of help from a friend of mine who is going to uh, put together my routine with me. So that was like the final uh, bit of the package that I didn't quite have last year. So it's gonna be an awesome routine. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be something you gotta see. You mentioned the Europa and possibly Toronto as well. Or, and as well, you mentioned that you're looking at doing a, a number of shows. Why are you necessarily looking at doing those shows and maybe quite a few shows? What's, what's motivating you to compete as, as often as you're planning on? I, I mean, maybe I have a different outlook than the other competitors, but I think, you know, uh, I got my pro card, you know, I'm, I'm going to use it. I'm going to compete. That's what I love to do. It's good for my business. Um, I love to do it. It's, the dieting is not super stressful for me. So, uh, and I love to travel. I haven't been to Toronto for a few years, so uh, yeah, Toronto, Chicago, uh, great cities. Possibly Europe as well? Oh yeah, oh man, if they could just have physique at that British Grand Prix, 
Uh, I could do go home to Glasgow and then take a little trip down to Manchester and do the Grand Prix. Yeah, and different people. A lot of the European competitors will be there. Uh, you know, different competition. It's always good to to be uh, exposed to different competition. You seem to blossom this year. I, I saw you at so many shows as a um, as a fan as as well after turning pro. It was amazing. I just saw you seemingly everywhere. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I got a lot of a lot of clients that are competitors, and and I. You know, you got to go to the shows and, and support them. And you have to go to the shows to see what's happening on stage. Because when you have clients that compete, you've got to be able to know what's happening. You've got to keep your hand in the, you know, in the pot and keep stirring it around. Was there a special memory that you had from actually the show that you turned pro at? Could you, could you talk about how you felt when you turned pro? Oh yeah, the special memories. Uh, I, you know, I just, I know, I, I, I ultimately remember standing up there and they do the countdown: fifth, fourth, third, and I thought, and I still, I've got goosebumps right now talking about it. You know, and they said my name and just it didn't register just for a split second, and then I heard my friends in the audience yelling, and that was like the, you know, they were screaming louder than anybody else in the whole place. <laughs> Okay, my training split, um, quads uh, twice a week, heavy, hamstrings once a week, shoulders twice a week, back once, chest mm, once a year, no, I don't work chest, I got a great upper pec and it stays, stays full without doing anything, uh, buys and tries. I throw them in with hamstrings sometimes, but I'm not, you know, I try to focus on the bigger body groups um, because working them hard, you know, the rest, the rest gets covered. So my quads are um, shaping up nicely, you know, I'm probably going to put at least an inch on my quads. So um, yeah, no, I hit quads twice a week, heavy squats, old traditional squats, heavy, heavy lunges, walking lunges, nice and deep, you know, really focus on the glutes. My uh, personal training business has uh, become really successful, not just since I became a pro, but since um, I've become a, you know, a repetitive competitor. You know, people just, people want to be in shape. They want to be lean and they see other people getting lean and they, you know, they're attracted to that. Um, my personal training website is uh, Jill Dearman. You can find me and I do competitors. I'm about a 50-50 split, competitors opposed to just the, you know, the regular client that wants to be in shape and become healthy. So um, yeah, come reach me, Jill Dearman.